live, I'm Pratibha. After much deliberations within the parties, the Congress party is all set to hold talks with their Maharashtra allies at sea sharing. Negotiations continue in the opposition camp to take on the BJP in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Remember, the meeting comes after holding talks with the Amadmi party leadership yesterday. From the Uddhav Sena, party leaders Sanjay Raut as well as Vinayak Raut will be present for the meeting. Supriya Sule will join the meeting from the NCP Sharad Pawar faction and Nana Patole as well as Ashok Chavan and Prithviraj Chavan will attend the meeting from the Congress camp. So before the three parties could sit across each other for the seat sharing talks, the tension seems to be already simmering. The Congress party and Uddhav Sena have crossed swords over the South Mumbai Lok Sabha seat. Congress party's Milind Deora has indirectly attacked the Uddhav Sena for staking claim over the South Mumbai seat. Deora said that the seat has traditionally been contested by the Deora family and asked the alliance partners from refraining from making any claims towards it. He also warned Uddhav Sena, saying the Congress party may declare its candidate for the seat. While Sanjay Raut, the Sena UBT, also remains firm on contesting 23 Lok Sabha seats in Maharashtra, saying there should be no tussle between Shiv Sena, NCP and the Congress over the sharing of seats for the 2024 polls. <laughs> आम्हाला झिरो पासून शून्य पासून सुरुवात करायला सांगितले कालचा गिरगावाच्या सभेत दक्षिण मुंबईचा जागेसाठी नवा दावा करण्यात आला कारण ही जागा दक्षिण मुंबई सीट परंपरेने काँग्रेसकडे आहे आणि देवरा परिवार 50 वर्षापासून दक्षिण मुंबईची सेवा करत आहे आणि जर एखादा पक्ष औपचारिक चर्चा पूर्ण होईपर्यंत थांबायला तयार नसेल तर कांग्रेस ही जागावर दावा करू शकते आणि उमेदवारांची घोषणा करू शकते महाराष्ट्र की सीट शेयरिंग के बारे में एक महत्वपूर्ण बैठक हम दिल्ली में आज बुला रहे हैं कांग्रेस और शिवसेना और अभी मुझे पता चला कि एनसीपी को भी बुलाया है तो हम तीनों बैठेंगे महाराष्ट्र में तीन प्रमुख पार्टी है बेसिकली महाराष्ट्र में कोई इस प्रकार से झगड़ा नहीं है एक दो सीट का कोई मतभेद हो सकते हैं उसके ऊपर हम बैठकर चर्चा करेंगे well, yesterday the Congress and the Ahmadbi Party sat down for the discussions uh, for seat sharing in Punjab and Delhi as well as other states. Times Now has learnt that both the parties shared their demands and proposals through exchange of relevant documents. Sources say that possible formulas for seat sharing and a divide was not really discussed. The two parties are learned to have discussed two central issues. One is which states will the Ahmadmi Party and the Congress Party contest together in? Punjab strategy is also going to be decided and a report has also been sought from the Ahmadmi Party for their vote percentage in the states where the Ahmadmi Party is demanding to contest. Sources say that in the next meeting, seat distribution will be decided on the basis of vote percentage and strengths of the parties in their respective states and constituencies. Let the let some formal announcement come. I, I, apparently, there will be more meetings. Uh, out of seven seats, I think it's far more important for us to know which are the seats that Congress is fighting. You know, in the last eight or nine years, Congress and AAP have been uh, at uh, loggerheads with regard to the state government and the state elections. Therefore, it, for our forces to come together, our block presidents, whatever their structure is, I don't know the Ahmadmi structure, but their MLAs, their corporators, and our people to get together and get to a combined uh, a strategy for canvassing. I think that's something that is more important. So I would say that the sooner that happens, uh, even if candidates' names may, may come a little later, at least there will be some kind of a coordination on the field. Now, Times Now has accessed the inside scoop of what's happening within the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party discussions on seat sharing. Uh, details coming in that seat distribution has not really been discussed. The strategy for the states have been discussed as of now between the Congress as well as the Ahmadmi Party. The Punjab strategy is yet to be decided and the Ahmadmi Party's vote percentage report has been sought by the Congress Party and it is based on this vote percentage of the Ahmadmi Party that the seats for the Lok Sabha elections is going to be decided. So strength of both parties are going to be analyzed but this is also an indication that 
there has not been much of a headway in the talks between the Congress Party as well as the Ahmadmi Party on the seat distribution. Remember, the Punjab Congress as well as the Punjab Ahmadmi Party faction have been saying time and again that they will be contesting in all the seats in the Lok Sabha election. So. Within the state units, there is no unity whatsoever, but discussions have been ongoing. My colleague Nyamika is joining us with the inside scoop on Times Now. Nyamika, clearly seat distribution has not been discussed. What has been discussed, though, is the strategy as well as vote percentage of the Ahmadmi Party. Uh, what's happening in the meeting? Has there been any headway? Ari, Ari. Niamika? All right, we'll try and uh, reconnect with uh, Niamika in just a moment to get more details of what really happened in the meeting because we're told that the strategy for the states has been discussed. It has been discussed at length on which are the constituencies where the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party should work together, which are the constituencies, constituencies that should go to the Ahmadmi Party yet to be discussed. Niamika, if you can hear me, uh, take us through the details of what was the discussion that took place between the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party. Well, it was a crucial meeting between the Congress Party's National Alliance Committee and the Aam Aadmi Party leaders to discuss about the seat-sharing formula uh, regarding the upcoming 2024 general elections. On one side, the Congress Party wants to have a discussion for the seats in Delhi. It was the Aam Aadmi Party's proposal who had suggested that there should be an alliance in the other states as well as the Aam Aadmi Party had also discussed about uh, the seat-sharing formula, not just in Delhi, but also in Gujarat, Haryana, as well as in Goa. Some of the uh, suggestions were also being made in yesterday's meeting. However, there, are no, there was no discussion that had taken place on the particular number of seats that will be there in this uh, seat-sharing formula between the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress Party. But it is being suggested to us by our sources uh, that there was a discussion about what should be the principles, uh, what should be the basis on which there will be the seat distribution between both of these parties. And it is also being informed to us by our sources that both the parties are of the viewpoint that there should should not be any alliance in the state of Punjab because it will give benefit to Akali as well as BJP in the state as they are saying that both the state both of the parties state units are of the view that they should uh, uh, contest the upcoming elections on their own and uh, there should be a cordial relation between both of these parties while contesting the upcoming general elections in the state of Punjab however if you talk about uh, the Delhi in particular then there will be a seat sharing formula as uh, uh, the Congress National Alliance Committee has also asked the Ahmadi party members uh, to prepare a report on the basis of which there will be a, a formula that is uh, going to be chalked out uh, regarding uh, the vote share of the Ahmadi party in all of these states and on what uh, on which constituencies there is uh, the strength of the Ahmadi party so all of this is going to be discussed in another round of meeting between the Congress and the Ahmadi party that is expected to be held on 11th of January Okay, all right. Uh, and these discussions are going on at a time when strong words, a stern message also coming in from many within the allies that time is running out. Niamika, thank you for joining us with the inside details of what happened in the meeting. The seat sharing talks come at a time when some of the allies are going public to air their concerns over the delay in taking crucial decisions with respect to the alliance. Yesterday, the JDU sent a stern message to the Congress asserting that the party and the RJD are in a position to counter the BJP in Bihar and had won 16 seats and will not compromise there. Listen into the JDU's message. बिहार में हमारा कोई खींचतान नहीं है। बिहार में हमारी पार्टी ने स्पष्ट कर दिया है कि भाई इतनी सीटों पर हम चुनाव लड़े हैं, लड़ेंगे। शेष बची हुई सीटों पर जो कांग्रेस पार्टी और राष्ट्रीय जनता दल के बीच विमर्श हुआ, उसके बाद ऑल इज़ वेल कहा गया है। इसलिए हमको नहीं लगता कोई बिहार में विवाद की कोई गुंजाइश है। now, the JDU MLA Gopal Mandal was more blunt in his remarks on the Congress party. He batted for Nitish Kumar as the only capable leader in the country who can become the Prime Minister while dismissing the Congress chief Kharge's name. Sharpening his attack, he asked, will the Congress party be even able to win all 40 seats if they are given these seats in Bihar? <laughs> पूरा इंडिया घूम के इंडिया के फंदन तैयार किया हम तो एक ही बात कहेंगे नीतीश कुमार को होना चाहिए इसके अलावा देश के अंदर 
कोई बनने लायक है ये नहीं है और कहाँ से उठा के ले आते खरगे अगर तो किसी का नाम नहीं जानता हो खरगे का नाम ले आया नीतीश कुमार को देश के अंदर हिंदुस्तान के अंदर बच्चा बच्चा जानता है 